Hi, I am going to ask you one simple question. What if Figma is not available from tomorrow onwards? What if Figma is going to raise their subscription fee 10 times? So don't worry. So in today's topic, I am going to showcase a couple of Figma alternative tools. All right, let's get started. Hi, I am Arambal from Aspera. Happy to see you again. So why we have to look for an alternatives? Yes, I can understand Figma is a very cool tool and it's a collaborative platform and it has a lot and lot of plugins. We can do everything on Figma itself. But sometimes what happened, you may feel this is too pricey or too costly, right? And also if your internet is very slow in during that time, you cannot be able to use Figma. So to avoid all these kind of a situations, the Figma is not suitable for everybody. All right. So in that scenario, I was searching on internet and I got a few tools and these are very interesting ones. So I'm going to share it one by one. So I'll start with Lunacy. Lunacy is a free tool. Yes, it's free. And it has illustrations, icons, couple of plugins, and it will be working on your computer. So computer in the sense, it could be Mac, Windows, Linux. So you can download, install in your system and it's absolutely free. Cool, is it? It's a very cool tool. So you can try it out. So in my list, I'm talking about the second tool, it's Sketch. Sketch is only for Mac users. Before Figma coming into the market, Sketch was a king. Even I was using in almost 10 to 12 years ago. So Sketch is very smooth, soft and it has a lot of plugins and we can do many things in a UI design. But if you are a Mac lover and if you are using only Macbook, then you can try this Sketch. So the Sketch is not available for Windows or Linux or online. So if you are having the Apple based computers, then you can try Sketch. In my list, the next tool is Penbot. So when Adobe was buying Figma, then that time this tool was emerging and a lot and lot of people, they were talking about this tool. This tool is absolutely open source. Now, the tool is very, very solid and strong. You can do design prototyping and still it's open source, so free and it's you can do collaboration and it's available on, online. So it's a perfect alternative for Figma. So you can try that. So in my list, the fourth tool is a Framer. So Framer, actually speaking, it's started as a prototyping tool. So it has a very complex prototype. Those prototypes are nowadays is called as a smart animate, which is available in Figma. That is how Framer started its journey. But now the Framer is a no code website platform and you can create a very beautiful prototyping and you can publishing as a website also. But you cannot do the design, so it has a limitations. So if you are doing design in Figma or something like that, you can export it into Framer or else you can do something the very cool prototyping with the functionality in Framer. So Framer supports React also. If you are a too techie, you can try that also. So try Framer for its prototyping animations abilities. So in my list, I'm going to talk about the fifth tool. It's called Affinity Designer. So this Affinity Designer is an alternative for Photoshop. That is how it's been emerging into the market. But fundamentally, it has illustrations, vector, UI screens. You can do a lot, a lot of graphic stuff in this tool. This is not a free tool. It's a very, how do you call it? One time purchase. It's about 600 to 700 rupees. I'm not checking the price. So you can go and check it out. So for it works on Mac as well as Windows. So you can be able to buy one time and install in your system and you can use it for your lifetime. So one of the coolest tool for design as well as UI design. Design in the sense of graphic design. All right. So please try it out. So in my list, the next tool is UX Pin. So this is perfect for the logical prototypes. So what does it mean logical prototypes? You can use the real data and valid the data and you can build the prototype with the real time application kind of a stuff. Definitely it's not for the beginners. You can build the dashboards or big applications with the real data prototyping using this tool. So try it out. The next tool is Marvel Lab. It's one of the oldest tool. It's been emerging along with the InVision. I was talking about in the year 2014 and 15. One of the easy and simple way to create the design and the prototype, right? So this is very, very easy to use, very, very beginner friendly. So we were thought about this is a bigger than Figma, but somewhere their directions are totally different. So you can try Marvel app is easy to use. 
so you can create design prototype and also you can do testing so in my list i'm going to talk about the next tool is uh, balsamic this is one of the very very oldest wireframing tool so if you want to do it very quick sketches and express your ideas then you can try this tool you cannot do any high fidelity design at all you can do the sketches mid fidelity level you can reach here so in this tool is one of the oldest tool it's available on online as well as desktop versions and you can build any kind of an interfaces as quick as possible all the presets are available and easy to use it's very beginner friendly tool so in my early stage of my career i was using this tool for, to create the wireframes so in my list i'm going to talk about the final item so it's a prototype very 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 advanced prototyping tool so it looks like a real app if you have a gestures you have a very complex animations a layer based animations then you can go for it so in my design studio we were using this tool for one very complex project the learning curve is a little bit tedious but the output that result was so amazing so you can try this tool for very complex layer based animations all right so i had listed almost nine tools today so which one is suitable for me so i am going to list that if you are looking for absolutely free and offline then you can try lunacy if you are using mac and you love only apple products then you can go for sketch if you are looking for very collaborative manner but very very restricted to open source culture then you can use penpot you love animations too much of interactions complexity then you can go for framer or prototype if you are a solo designer don't want to collaborate i am a designer i want to do the designs then you can try affinity designer if you are i am a beginner i don't want any complexities i want to do something simple easy then you can try marvel or balsamic all right so at end of the day you have to try all these tools but which tools are very very helpful for your workflow then you can stick on with that so you can stick on with some two to three tools that is what my recommendations and it will be helping you to improvising the productivity and simplifying your workflow that is very very ultimate goal so according to that you can choose the tools and you can use it if you use any one of the tool then you can share the experience in the comment section we can discuss on the comments also if you know anything more than that is also you can share it on the comment section we can discuss on i hope you like this topic and i will catch you soon with another interesting topic until then bye bye